Hello and welcome. My name is Roger and I'm the Diving Safety Officer for Aquarius Reef Base. Now today we're coming to you live from the world's only underwater laboratory, Aquarius. Now we're about 50 feet below the surface in Key Largo, Florida. Now before I get started, I want to introduce a couple of gentlemen. Over this way, we have Nate Bender, who is going to be our ROV operator today. And then behind the camera, we have Ryan Lapete. Now, today I'm standing in the area of the Aquarius habitat that's known as the entry lock. Now, if you look over here where Nate's at, much like Nate is set up today with the ROV, we have scientists and astronauts alike that will set up their scientific monitoring equipment, computers, video equipment, and also communications equipment to run operations and gather scientific data. Now the cool thing about this is that that scientific data or video or communications can be uh, gathered in real time and also sent either back to shore or to a support vessel right overhead, again in real time through our wireless telemetry system. Now if you look over here over my, right, my left shoulder, we have our oxygen and air panels along with some electrical panels. Over there we have our atmosphere monitoring equipment. Now let me take you into another area of the Aquarius habitat. Now I'm standing pretty much in the main living space of the Aquarius habitat and that's known as the main lock. Much like the entry lock, you look over here and we have our air and oxygen panels, electrical panels, and then we also monitor the atmosphere in here as well. Now if you look over here, we have our galley table. Now what's really neat about this area here is that after a hard day of scientific diving and space analog training, both scientists and astronauts alike like to gather around this table and plan and talk about the day's events. Because if you look over here, look at the kind of view that we have with this viewport. It oversees the reef. It's an awesome view. And as you can see, today we have an ROV standing by for you. So with that, let me just talk about one last thing and then I'll go to the ROV camera. If you look to the far end of the habitat, this area is known as the bunk room. It can sleep six personnel. Normally we have four scientists or astronauts along with two habitat technicians. Now the habitat technicians are assigned to basically take care of the life support and make sure that the habitat's running safely. Now, let me go ahead and switch to the ROV camera for some exterior video. That's it, right? Okay, what you're looking at right here is a shot of the exterior left side of the Aquarius habitat. Now, there's the viewport that we just showed you over at the galley. Now if you could see uh, the Aquarius is much like an artificial reef and um, she's got a lot of hard corals and soft corals and sponges growing on it and you can see some of our staff divers there doing a little maintenance on the outside. See maybe we can get one of them to wave there but uh, they're doing a little maintenance. Now uh, what you see here is the area of the of the Aquarius habitat that's known as the wet porch. Now I want to show you something really neat if I can get Nate to fly inside the wet porch. Takes uh, some really good driving skills to uh, be able to sneak in through there. It's, it's only about three feet. Okay, what you're looking at, Nate, if you can pan the camera up just a little bit when you get a chance, what you're looking at right there is the air-water interface of the Aquarius habitat at the wet porch area. This is where the personnel exit and enter the Aquarius habitat. Now, as long as the air pressure is kept at a little bit over or at least the same as the exterior water pressure, then uh, water will not come in. Now, let me go ahead and switch to uh, the interior camera real quick. There we go. 
Okay, so Ryan is giving you the perspective of the wet porch um, from the habitat side. Now, Ryan, I just want to say one last thing if you pan up here. Now, unlike the saturated scientists that normally are in here for 10 days at a time, and they'll go out and do excursions uh, for six to nine hours at a time, myself, Nate, and Ryan don't have that luxury today. We got to get back up to the surface. So I'm going to go ahead and turn this back over to Bob. Thanks.